2022 marks the Emancipation Support Committee's 30th anniversary. The celebration started with the launch of the Kwame Ture Memorial Lecture Series. Kwame Ture, formerly known as Stokely Carmichael, was a civil rights activist, writer and orator known as a lead figure within the Pan-African and Black Nationalist movements and for coining the slogan Black Power. Ture was born in Trinidad in 1941 and immigrated to New York in 1952. British-born Trinbagonian journalist Amanda Thomas Johnson, who is currently based in Dakar, Senegal, said his time in Guinea was a period of transformation. His story has not been fully told. Um, we tend to hear about the 16 years he spent living in the United States when he was known as Stokely Carmichael. Um, we don't hear much about his Trinidad and Tobagonian roots. Um, and, his, uh, and, his, and his upbringing there until the age of 11, nor do we hear about the 30 or so years he spent living in Guinea um, until he passed away in 1998. This period he lived in Guinea um, is really um, a period of, of, of evolution, of transformation, where he goes from a black power activist and becomes a pan-Africanist and a global um, revolutionary um, as well. While writing his book, he was able to interview those who would have known Kwame Ture in that time. And this, you know, this wasn't a person who was, um, you know, speaking, you know, you know, sort of celebrity. In fact, um, uh, you know, who, you know, who only sort of spoke to diplomats and leaders and, and, and politicians, whatever. Right there in his own community, he was supporting um, African people, right, um, sharing in their suffering. Um, he was, um, you know sacrificing, he was given what he had, um, he was helping children. The lecture series continues on July 3 with a panel discussion addressing the legacy of discrimination in education, the situation of the African child. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.